Good morning, everyone. Today we will discuss about the juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. Okay, so it is one of the uh, idiopathic generalized epilepsy, and it causes near about five to ten percent of the childhood epilepsy. The, what is the cause of juvenile myoclonic epilepsy is not known till this date. How the patient presented to us in our day-to-day -day OPD? The common type of the presentation of the patient with generalized, sorry, juvenile myoclonic epilepsy is the seizure. They usually present with the history of generalized tonic-clonic seizure, though they may have features of the myoclonus, as well as sometimes they can have even the absence seizure. The myoclonic jerk of the JME is usually provoked by the sleep deprivation, sometimes sound or flickering of the light, like in this video. Okay, seizure is usually a generalized tonic-clonic type and usually occurs during the morning time after the sleep deprivation. Near about 30 to 40 percent patient may have the absent seizure. So the combination of the myoclonus with GTCS and the absent seizure is also called the triad for diagnosing the juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. So when we uh, take the history from the patient, uh, then we usually do the EEG. Uh, the, in, in the EEG, we do the normal EEG and also the we give the photic stimulation and sometimes hyperventilation. The photic and hyperventilation can precipitate the seizure in the patient. So the normal EEG finding that we get in a patient with the uh, in the patient with GME is that we get the four to six hours of polling spikes in the EEG that comes from bilateral leads. There is high chance of positivity if there is a sleep deprivation in a patient with GME. The second is if you do the MRI most of the time, MRI is normal in a patient with GME. And the treatment wise, most of the patient will show the excellent response to the valproate, uh, levetiracetam and lamotrigin. And most of the time, they require the treatment for the lifelong. Prognostically, the GME patient usually have a very, very good response with the valproate therapy. So let us diagnose and treat the GME with proper anticonvulsant. Thank you.